So like I said in uh, earlier, I realized, you know, I spend a lot of time painting miniatures when I paint them. I really, I really want to get faster. Part of why I was excited for this was to get better. I really, I really want to get faster. After, after painting all of these, I can definitely say I am faster. So now everything is painted. We have all the bases, the hair painted, all the, all the fine, or as fine a touch as I'm gonna do. And we are ready to shade our miniatures. So James told me about this. I said, James, I wanna do everything the way Sir Astro tells me to. So I need some army painter. And he said, no boy, you need mini wax poly shades because it's the same thing. So, I took his advice on good faith. Excellent choices, sir. Oh, oh thank you. I, uh... This is what the result of that was. So, I think since this is designed for wood staining and not miniature staining, it, it did go on a little thick. I didn't mind uh, the result, but I think if we thin this down, uh, we can control the results a little more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna experiment with poly shades and mineral spirits. So there we have it. We'll be exploring this together. That would be a one to zero ratio. And well, we are ready to don't go. Don't forget uh, safety for yourself. Oh! Whenever you're Thank handling- Thank you, Thomas. I had forgotten. Whenever had you're forgotten. handling spirits. Got to, uh, Still firm. Keep that there. Ugh. What do I do with this one? Uh, usually it goes around the other side, but. Yeah, I just, I don't know if this is gonna work out. So I'm. Safety is number one forward. It just. Now we gotta mix it. I can feel the, uh, the bottom. Me too. So I did do um, something without it mixed. Mm -hmm. I just kind of took some stuff off the top and it, de it definitely needs mixing. There we go. Oh, and we are using the color Mission Oak. We have a couple of ex examples here of a one-to-one -one ratio. Let's pull out a couple similar models for the experiment. Here's another one of these guys. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And another one. She has metal hair. You can do four to one, see what that's like, and Three then decide one. if you need to go less or more. That's what we'll do. We'll just, we'll just modify, we'll go. These are the ice. Uh, caps, you can get them at uh, Kroger or Walmart, unless you can't. And we'll just knife our, I, I need a spoon. We actually have pretty good uh, ventilation in this room. In case you're thinking, you, you naughty boys. Okay. I think we have one. Directions are almost entirely in Spanish. <laughs> well, I, that felt like one. Oh, still. Still good. Where's my beautiful stickers that came with? Oh, here they are. Isn't that lovely? There we go. We've got some paper towels, which I am going to moisten so that we can wipe the areas where we don't want as much or any, um, if we can help it, of the shade. 
I'm very nervous. Here we go. Four to, we go. Four to one. Sure, it's all stirred up. <laughs> just let that sit for just a moment while we get this one. So now we are going to try to take this off and define our highlights a little bit. And it's kind of a rough technique, but I can tell already this feels a bit easier than when I was trying to do it with just the uh, poly shade. You can kind of sculpt poly shade a little bit. Now this. Um, Dries pretty quickly. So I went through and never mind, kind of uh, I'm just gonna get her face. But I think if we continue to add some more mineral spirits, we could probably thin it down to a, a nice spot. And. Here we go. Two miniatures, and they haven't dried yet, but now we're gonna try a two to four ratio. It's more liquidy. It's more liquidy. We'll get there yet. Rather than just using paper towel, I can use this brush to uh, shape it. Not that I think the paper towel is now rendered invalid. What I do like about the paper towel is when it's kind of dry, I can get, just kind of rub a whole section and look at this hand. See how that just... The highlights just start to pop. That didn't work very well. We took care of this one pretty quick. This one we've let sit for a little bit. So let's see what we've got. Hey, that, that actually worked pretty well. This is actually very nice. That's definitely my favorite so far. Just kind of letting it sit for a little bit and then uh, just kind of wiping the whole thing generally with a wet cloth seemed to do uh, to do pretty well. I, th ratios, I think we think... Well, I think we got to keep going. You found the we golden ratio. We got to keep going. I, I mean, I like that, especially like doing uh, the second figure after it had sit for a little bit. So we got to keep going. You know, will it just keep making it better and more controllable? Let's, Let's change that to two a three. A drop spilled out, so it's all off now. We are at a three to four-ish mixture now. Wow, this one's flowing quite. You can even see the air bubbles there. let this dry a little bit. So I'm, I'm wiping this almost like I would use a dry brush. It feels like there's definitely a lot less to do with this because it just kind of naturally flows into the uh, crevices it needs to be in. Here we go. Even though these are not dry yet, we can already see, I don't know, I guess it makes some difference. It's not that you can't get good results with just the pure poly shade, but I did spend a lot more work trying to scrub these down. Pretty, pretty hard um, 
compared to these. Um, and I had a lot of issues with the fibers from the paper towels just getting all over this because um, the poly shade can be a bit sticky. Three to four ratio might be, the... might be a winner, but we won't know for sure unless we go one further. So here we are. What we think is the end of the line with our one-to-one -one mixture, but it is possible. It may not be exactly a one-to-one -one mixture. There may be a little more mineral spirits than poly shades, if I were to hazard a guess, but we're gonna do this anyhow. Well, this one-to-one -one mixture does remind me a lot of a, like a Citadel wash. Here, it just didn't even get on there. So we're getting so watery now. There are just some places it just kind of slid off, kind of on its own. This is definitely very easy to push around with a brush in some ways kind of frustrating in some other ways in that it's drying pretty quickly where it's thin but really hasn't seemed to have dried at all where it's thicker which is a not quite how the normal poly shades seem to work so I'm trying to get the, the top crevices off and it's just spreading it around I'm just getting all these streaks it's not really looking like shadow. It just looks like I'm pushing dirt around. Now, see, now I don't even want to touch this one because I feel like I'll just make it worse. Yeah, this is, uh, we've gone too far. I think that concludes our experiment. You need a majority of poly shades, or I am going to continue to use a majority of poly shades because the, the process of using it thinned down to this amount was is very unenjoyable and it was very hard to control. I did enjoy adding a little bit of mineral spirits, but don't add too much. But we'll let these dry and we'll see what they look like. We've given these models a little time to dry. So we're here a year and a half later and we're going to look and see what the end result of our various ratios resulted in from most poly shades to most mineral spirits. I have a bit of difficulty distinguishing one model from another, um, except for once we got to, what was it, like 50% mineral spirits? That's when it, it just started to break down and uh, it really started to affect the look. I would say adding mineral spirits, even a little bit of m mineral spirits, Although the end result maybe didn't look that different from the pure poly shades, it gave me more working time. So it was a more enjoyable experience in the application process. So my conclusion, if I'm going to use this again, I am personally going to use a two to one ratio. So a third of the mix will be mineral spirits. I feel like anything between what, like 80% poly shades to 60% uh, poly shades probably be fine. We did, I haven't put the doll coat on yet, but they do look quite a bit different than miniatures that Sarasher used the Army Painter quick shade on. My application process was very different from his. In, in the year and a half that I've had uh, to reflect on this, I feel like I've grown a lot. So the next episode, we will be sealing the miniatures and we're gonna be testing three different matte clear coats and we're gonna see which one does the best job of taking down the sheen that remains on the miniatures. We're gonna paint uh, Zombie Side today. I mean, you're gonna watch a video of painting Zombie Side today, but this will be take place over probably weeks. How many miniatures? All of them. It involves all of them. Look. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Well, hello there. Hey. How are you? How are you doing?